hey my loves welcome back to the channel you guys know that i do not what they call it gatekeep i do not gatekeep okay i don't do that i believe in when you find something that's working or you know any type of way that you can help someone well i'm talking for me how i am any way that i can help someone or share information that I feel like is beneficial to you, I have no problem sharing it. That's one thing about me. <laughs> I'm really straightforward. I have a good little vibe about me and I am not a hater at all. So y'all know I have to, I had to come over here and let you guys know what had worked for me to like basically get my channel blasting in days. So let me give you a little backstory. This is not my first YouTube channel. This is like probably my third YouTube channel since probably like 2016 that I've been trying to do YouTube channels to trying to excel, watching all these videos on people telling you how to grow and I did not grow. It did not happen for me <laughs> at all. So when I started to cast stuff, I was like, okay, I feel like I want to do a YouTube channel on cash stuffing. I was watching this video on TikTok where this guy was telling us basically people are interested in basically things that they can learn something from. And I was like, well, cash stuffing you can learn a lot of things from. And it basically helps people who struggle with money, with their finances, helps people to be better at saving, helps people to be better at money management, etc. So I was like, this would be a good, a great YouTube topic or niche to do. So I was like, I'm going to do it and I'm just going to try one more time on YouTube. I've never gotten the result I've gotten with this channel, with any other channel that I've tried. So I'm going to share with you guys, I have like nine tips here. <laughs> so I'm going to share all nine tips. I'm not keeping anything back. I'm going to tell you guys what I did to drive the traffic to my channel. So y'all see me with my little paper and my little marker. You guys already know what time it is when you see me come out with my paper and my marker. You know, it's teaching time. It's time for you to learn something. <laughs> so how did I go from zero to a thousand real quick? <laughs> y'all ain't ready. Okay, so let's talk about it. So the first step you have to do is research it's really important I'm gonna tell you why when I say research, uh, research I mean what is the niche that you're trying to do how is that niche performing do you have a lot of competition what is your other competition doing Looking at their topics, looking at their titles, how they're titling their videos. Look at the videos that are working or performing good in that niche. And you are going to look at the strategy. How did they record this? What type of style are they doing? Do research on your niche before just jumping into it. Because you want to know what's working and what's not working. So the first thing that you want to do is research. Hey, I'm interested in doing makeup. I'm thinking about starting a YouTube channel. Okay, cool. Look at the big makeup content creators. Patrick Starr, James Charles. Look at all them big ones. Go on their channel. Look at their titles. Look how their video style. Look what they're doing. Because what they're doing is working. So you need to either be doing similar things to them, but you can be your own person. Don't get me wrong, but... For example, their titles. Their titles drawing millions of people. If you use the, sim the same 
well not the same word for word title but a little bit similar to their title your video is going to go out as well because that title that they're using is something that's popular or something that's kicked off or whatever then if you use the same that like similar words in your title the same thing's going to happen for you so that's number one make sure you do your research before you start this thing okay very important for number two this I've struggled with so much stick with your brand and I'm gonna tell you guys what I mean when I say stick with your brand if you are gonna do something start a business start a YouTube channel whatever you want to make sure you I will say pick a theme I feel like people are more likely to remember that theme that you have going on and look for it whenever they're searching for videos in your niche because see for example me my theme is light pink y'all see my desk is light pink this paper I'm writing on is like my candle is light pink I try to keep it aesthetically pleasing my display picture is light pink my thumbnails light pink everything is just one straight theme so eventually when that person is scrolling through all oh, the cat stuff it um, stuffing budgeting people on YouTube they're gonna know when they see my video because mine's gonna stand out because there's a theme going and they're gonna remember that theme forever that's just gonna be stuck in their brains every time they're searching through these videos so you want to stick with like a theme or make sure your thumbnails are you know clear and the words are clear and whatever it's saying is clear and you cannot change your name like a million times that's one thing I've learned keep pick a name stick to the name stay with the name people are more likely to remember you when you stick with that name but if today I'm baddies in the bag and then tomorrow I change my name to money mo then people are not gonna know that it's me because I changed my name so they're gonna be looking for baddies in the bag and they can't find me so how they gonna find me now? They don't know I changed my name to Money Mo. Like you, <laughs> you wanna keep, pick a name, stick with that name. Once people meet you, subscribe to your channel, they're always gonna look out for that name. Or if they see that name, they're gonna wanna watch because they already know what you're bringing to the, the, to the table. So stick with one name and choose like, have like a little theme going on for your channel where people can memorize and know eventually, um, immediately that that's you for me tip three aesthetic people love cute things <laughs> you want to stand out from everyone else so me personally what I've done is I've looked at everyone who's in my niche and I've seen how they set up now some of them try to have a theme but they don't try to make majority of their stuff that theme color or whatever. You know, they they like mix it up or whatever. It's so cute. But I'm just like, I need to stand out from everyone else. I need to stand out. How can I stand out with my aesthetic? I'm like, okay, majority of my stuff got to be pink. And I have to make sure my little setup is cute. I have to make sure my thumbnails are cute. I just have to make sure everything looks aesthetically pleasing. Remember, I've said this before in my previous videos, people are more likely to use something, to watch something, to spend the time to see something if it is aesthetically pleasing, if it's standing out. That's very important, at least in my book. That's something I've changed from my other channels that I never used to do on my other channels that I've changed and now I'm starting to do on this channel and I've seen results. So all these tips are things that I've changed, things that I've done differently from my past three YouTube channels that I've made that I'm getting results from. So tip number four, include music in your videos. I'm going to tell you, sometimes you watch some, someone's video and it's a little quiet. Nothing's wrong with quiet, but when you have music, it kind of adds like a little tone to the video you know like I've had I remember this one I think it was Michelle a subscriber Michelle 
commented on one of my videos and she was just like, these songs get me in the mood. Yeah, I love this song, what's the playlist? You know, like stuff like that. People listen to your video and listen to you talk and listen to your background, and listen to your AC blowing or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, just get music in your videos, lower it, lower it in the background, you in the foreground, and it just gives like a nice little mood to the video. And sometimes some of the 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 music even have a little beat that somebody could rock to while they're listening to your video. Like, I feel like music in videos are really important. Now, if you guys want to add music in your um, in your videos, I know it can be hard to find non-copyright music, but this app right here, Epidemic Sound, is my favorite, my all-time favorite app ever. All non-copyright music for YouTube, and I'm telling you some nice vibe and they have thousands of music to choose from so i love to use epidemic sound it is something you have to subscribe to though it's like 15 dollars. i think it's 15 dollars a month for the subscription but i'm telling you a lot of nice non-copyright music i will tell you guys a free one too it's called I think it's called non-copyright music. No copyright music, something like that. <laughs> I'll try to find it and put a description below, but that's another site that ha also has non-copyright music. You don't have to subscribe to them. You kind of just have to copy the artist's information and put it in your description. But I feel like they don't have much of an option like Epidemic Sound is way better. So I just pay the subscription, I just get Epidemic. So include music in your videos, that's very important. Step five, this is almost basically something that you need to be doing if you start a YouTube channel. Post shorts. It is way easier for you to grow on YouTube now than it was back then because they didn't really have shorts. And if someone didn't come up on your video, then they wouldn't see your channel. With shorts, shorts put your videos out there to hundred millions, thousands of people without even them being subscribed to your channel. So this is a very good, big, big opportunity for you to gain some, some subscribers from because these are people that are not subscribed to your channel that can be possible subscribers. So you wanna make sure you're posting shorts they are so important. I've looked at my analytics and I've received so much followers, not followers, subscribers from shorts. It's important. Pull shorts. Number six, you, you want to be teaching something. You want to be teaching something. I found out that when you're teaching something, it goes like it's, it's faster because people YouTube is kind of like a Google. It's like a search engine for information, a lot of information that people don't know or want to know. They either go to Google or they come to YouTube. So you want to try to make sure that you are teaching something. I feel like those type of channels go faster than other channels because people tend to want to know stuff. So it's good if you have a channel that's teaching something to someone. Like how to budget, how to cast stuff, how to do your hair, how to do makeup, how to do, you know, teach something, how to fix this, how to, people love to search how to do things on YouTube. That's a big one. And one thing I wanted to add for post shorts, use this app called CapCut. If you are not using CapCut, then that's the problem. <laughs> CapCut edits videos, add text to your videos. You can do auto caption. So while you're talking, the words just keep popping up on your screen while you say them. It's like, it's so fun. And I feel like when you have text on your screen in shorts, people are more likely to watch it because something just keeps popping up every second. Attention span, you know, we have short attention span. So I feel like that keeps the attention going. So download CapCut 
and try to use it to post your shorts and your TikTok videos and the reels and stuff like that because it's really, really good. Um, so let's go to seven. Seven. This is also important. And like I told you guys, these are tips that I'm sharing with you guys that I, I never used to do these with my previous YouTube channels. So obviously these are what's working for me. I literally got to a thousand subscribers in less than two weeks. Come on. Post consistently. <laughs> this is so important. Post consistently. I've told myself I am going to make sure I post one video every single day with video and a short every day and I'm gonna still create like a little post on my community on YouTube. And this has been working for me so much. Like since I've started to do all these steps and post consistently, I've never, like my views, the amount of views I get have never dropped since I've started. Like it just keeps going up. Like in the beginning, I had like a thousand views. Then it went to five, then it went to 10, then it went to 20, then it went to 30, then it went to four. It just keeps climbing. It never like was 20 today and then tomorrow's like 15 or like 19. It never drops. It just keep going up so I realized the more videos you have and the more you post the better it is for you to get exposure the better it is for people to see you your channel the the, 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 the better it is for people to know about you is when you post consistently so me personally I try to post a video every single day and with the video I post a short that's very important number eight hmm this one this is gonna change your YouTube life, <laughs> period. There's this app called vidIQ. I don't know if you guys know about it, but this is why I'm here to tell you about it. vidIQ has changed my YouTube life so much. Let me tell you what they do. They literally help you with titles that are gonna work, tags, that's gonna work. They tell you stuff, oh, your description is a little too long, your title is a little too long. Instead of this word, try this word. Instead of that word, try that word. They're looking at your competitors, people that are in your niche. They look at other people that are performing so good in your niche, and they pick words and stuff and tags and stuff out of their videos that they're using, so you can apply those to your videos. And that's how <laughs> you just see the views of the subscribers just start climbing in. So vidIQ is an app that you won't regret. This app will help you out so much with posting your content on YouTube. They literally help you with this the titles. Sometimes we might struggle with titles. They let you add keywords that are performing so good in your titles. They help you to construct titles that are like eye-catching <sighs> I can't tell y'all guys I cannot stress vid IQ enough download it now now right now number nine this I feel like this is just common courtesy like common courtesy you re respond back who comments I, I hate to see when people comment on other people's videos and they just leave them blank like they don't respond that's so rude to me like someone's commenting someone's supporting someone's giving you a positive feedback on what you're providing why are you not commenting this is really important people are subscribing to your channel you have to interact with them you have to Make them feel like they subscribe for a reason. You know, build a little relationship with your subscribers. <sighs> Why are people not responding back to comments? This is so important. Me, I respond to comments that everyone leave on my videos. And if I haven't responded to you yet, it's because I haven't gotten to you yet and I haven't seen that you commented. And what I normally do is just go on my laptop because sometimes on my phone and my iPad, they just be skipping over some people's comments and I don't see them. So I like to take my laptop and go on YouTube from my laptop, 
click on each video and scroll through the comments to see did it, is there anyone that I didn't comment to. I feel like you have to keep a good relationship with your subscribers. They are more likely to tell other people about you. They're more likely to probably share your video, talk about you with friends. That's bringing more traffic to your channel. So this is very important. We have to remember that subscribers are humans. I feel like a lot of people forget that. There are people like <laughs> once you hit your goal, it's like, why are you avoiding them? Like, <laughs> it don't make sense to me. Talk back to your subscribers. They're, your, they're fans, like they're people. They like what you're putting out and they want to talk and they want to comment and they want to leave you a positive comment. They want to give you advice. They want to communicate back with your commenters. Communicate. So these are all the things that I've done differently on this YouTube channel that has grown my channel from zero subscribers to a thousand and 90. I think right now I'm at like 1,100. In 10 days, literally 10, is it 10 days? I don't even think so. It's a couple of days because a lot of people have been commenting and say, girl, you was just at like, when I subscribed to you, it was like a 200 subscribers. How the hell did you get to 1,100 so fast? And I'm in shock too. I'm looking at, I don't know, girl. <laughs> I have no clue. So I sat down and I thought about all the things that I've done differently. And these are all the things that I've been doing since I started this channel. And these have all worked for me. These are all played a part in me growing so fast. So guys, I'm telling you every single day, I have the least amount of followers I had gained well, subscribers I've gained for a day is around 70. Like every day I have from 70 to 100 and something subscribers. Every day. My phone just getting notification every day. Every single day. I just keep going up. Right now my first video I posted on the channel was already at 14k views. This was when I, that's my first video I've posted on the channel. Look at my shorts. I post my shorts as well. Shorts are important. Reaching to people that's not subscribed to you. That's important. That's how you're going to get people to, to subscribe to you. That's important. So very important. So guys, these are my steps that I took and I went to from zero to a thousand real quick. So you guys could try, if not all, just try some of these and see if it works out for you and let me know in the comment section below but this is what i do to grow real fast on youtube and i also provide great content i don't know how i'm leaving that out i provide great content too <laughs> i just keep it real and just be honest yeah i think being yourself and keeping things real is key like a lot of people fake things a lot of people pretend like everything is perfect a lot of people try to put on a show i'm not putting on no show this is my life like i'm just serious about stuff and i'm really real and that's important too so thank you guys for watching the video apply some of these to what you're doing and i guarantee you you're gonna see some results i'll see you guys in the next video bye